happy Monday. Today is February the 26th. Oh, they did write the right date. So today is February the 26th. This is a short academic week for me because I am going to Ron Clark. So I'm going to show you what I started new, go over my sub plans. I need to feed the Green Lantern. Is he still alive? Yep, he's still alive. So I need to feed him. He needs more water in his tank. But we will do that when we come back. Um, I have today. I'm going to show you because I am so organized. I came up with something new over the weekend. And I was like, uh, planners are not working out for you. But you need to know what you're doing instead of keep going back to listen to look at your lesson plan. So let me show you what I got. Okay, you already know I work in the Arctic. <laughs> so I had to go get my snow jacket. But um, today is field day, so that's why I have on my field day shirt. I forgot it. It was this weekend, so my kids were supposed to wear blue. I hope this is our, one of our uniform colors, so hopefully everyone wore their baby, baby blue shirt today. But anyway, you know, I keep, uh, I forgot. I can't do the planners. I keep buying them for seven years. I didn't let it go. So I, it worked good when I did distance learning, like when we were during the pandemic, it, the planner worked out great for me. So what I do is I keep one of these little things that you get from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. My coworker actually bought this for me. But here are my sub plans. So my sub plans has, for the next three days since I'm not here, so I have our sub plans, how our kids get home, the lessons that they're going to do, um, the rules and procedures, and it has our emergency plan. It tells them what a fire drill roster is and everything, and I leave them a note. Um, I don't put in my sub plans who are going to be difficult students. I'm not gonna put that because you never know, they may surprise you. So, um, we also have field day. So I have that paper. Um, all of my kids are not participating in field day. Some of them are going I don't want to deal with them because I have kids that I have to watch and you have to write who's in first place, second place, and third grade. I want to be busy so it makes sense to put them in another teacher's classroom and that way I don't have any behavior problems. They go over there and then tomorrow when it's fourth and fifth grades field day, I'll keep their kids because today is second and third. Then I created this. Well, I didn't create this. This is actually for a, a planner. And I was like, oh, let me plan on my iPad. I know I'm not going to stick with that for school. It's not going to work out me. So I created this. Um, yeah, so I created this document. And then basically it has the days of the week at the, the days of the week at the top. And then the subjects and on the bottom it has notes. So it's easy for me. It's a snapshot of what I'm teaching. So even if I have a sub, if I'm out, if this is on my desk every day, they get to see what we're doing. Oh, that's ice that's making back there. That's why you hear the noise. So, and it has a little, I think this fits small post-it notes. Let me double check. Hold on. Let me go see. Okay, I'm back. So we have small post-it notes. I think she made it for this to fit post-it notes. So let's see. It does. If it's a little post a note to go right here. So this is so cute. Um, I'll show you exactly what's on it in case you care. So let me just take off certain things. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So over here, you can see it has everything that I'm teaching for math. Then this is what we're doing for reading. And these are the sub plans. I even put that I was out these days. I have a, I have a birthday today. And then I have my helpers of the week. I'm telling you, everything is here. It's like, and then I also have what I'm teaching for reading the skills, which remember I told you last week was imagery, metaphor, theme, and free verse. That's what I'm teaching this week. So this is a glance. I think I'm going to keep this up. Remember, I lesson plan per semester. So for not, our each semester at our school is nine weeks. So I crush it out one weekend. 
I knocked out all my lesson plans for all five subjects and then I literally have nothing to do. But every day I notice I'm going back to look at my lesson plans because I don't know what days I'm teaching one lesson, one days I'm teaching two lessons, things like that. And it gives me, it's just so foolproof, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can consistently sew. So, this is themed, so this is for Valentine's Day. I think it was $5.75. She even had it where it was two pages, and if you wanted a binder, like if you wanted to put it somewhere, you wanted two pages. I think it is easy to have this one paper on my desk and I get to see. And then the other one with two pages was cute because it had a to-do list, it had reminders, and it had important events or something like that. I can put that all on here and I just, it is so cute. And it's on my computer. So if I ever bring my phone, if I forget, I could just with iCloud, I can just look it up on my phone if I forget to print it. And I just think I'm gonna do this every Sunday. I think <laughs> I'm gonna try. So I have to pick my kids. I was supposed to pick my kids up one minute ago. Oh, so when they come in, I am teaching one math lesson, which is elapsed time. Before, yes, Friday we did it within the minutes. This time we're doing it with different hours. So that is good. I love elapsed time. Um, I think I found a new way to store my anchor charts. I'm going to try it out today while they're working independently. We have PE from 9.35 to 10.35. I need to pick up all the tablets that are around the room. and I need to cut them off. I need to stand up these Spiro robots, which we did use. And I need to take the painter's tape off the floor. Um, after PE, we're doing reading. And then we're doing... I'm sorry, after PE, we're gonna finish science notes. After lunch, we are doing reading, and then I think at 1.30, it's field day until three o'clock. So I get free time a lot today, which is good. I'm gonna go get my sub documents so I can put them together, and then you'll see how I have to arrange a sub for three days because some of the math lessons, they need rulers. So I'm going to put them in containers by the day, hopefully, if I have enough containers. But I will check in with you as soon as I can. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today is February the 27th, I think. Yes, the 27th. This is my last day before I go to the Ron Clark Academy on Thursday, but we're flying out today. Well, tomorrow, so I won't be here. I have my sub plans. I'm going to show you what I have done before I go pick up my kids in five minutes. The bell is going to ring, we already know it. So this worked out perfectly. I checked off everything that I did. I am going to turn you around so you can see. I just have to put labels on it. So I placed everything in these Sterilite. No, I don't know what these called. Some, I think they are Sterilite but they have them for each day. I just have to put a label for each day because some of the days she has, they need rulers and I have to go get the measuring cups. But other than that, this is for my sub. I have my sub plans and then I have my weekly planner thing. I am actually not really teaching my kids today. Um, I'm giving myself the title. I am the gifted coordinator. The gifted coordinator for my school because I'm the only person in the entire school, including the AP, that knows how to do gifted paperwork from top to bottom. Today, I already told you the date. If they don't have the paperwork completed by April 1st, March 1st is Friday. If they don't have it completed by March 1st, we, can't, we won't have kids that can't get into gifted and then we'll probably lose the gifted position. Remember, I teach third grade gifted and it's gifted kids throughout the school, but we are losing fifth graders, which means we need more kids to get into gifted. I tallied up the list. I have 28 files that I need to complete within the next week. Mind you, I'm off, but it is what it is. Um, so my kids, I'm gonna teach my math, the rest, I'm going to put them on this website that I got from Perfectly Planning Second. I think that's her name. She's talking about something called Bottle, B-O-D-D-L-E. 
and I downloaded it and it went with the standards for my school. So we're gonna let them play that after they get all their 45 minutes of reading and 45 minutes in math for already and then I'll hand them the login code. But they're gonna work silently the rest of the day. Um, I have collaborative planning today at 2.05 to 3.05, so I have to go through that. But I am going to check in with you later because I have to show you how I'm going to leave my room for my sub, how I do, because I remember my kids can't sharpen pencils. I don't allow them to sharpen pencils. So I want to show you how I prepare for that when I'm going to be out for three days. And that's a long time to go without pencils, but I'm going to show you my little trick. So I will check in with you later. Hi, guys. I know I was supposed to record an outro about how I prepare for a sub. Basically, I didn't have time. So I put 40 pencils that are already sharpened in my pencil container. That's enough to last three days. I also put all my sub plans. You already saw the individual containers. I leave my desk clean. There you go. That's how I prepare for a sub. Um, so, today was day one of the Ron Clark Academy. And I am going to insert footage now. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it now and then instead of making it wait. So. <laughs> Okay, did you see how beautiful it is? Let me tell you what happened. So you walk in, they give you a badge, a lanyard with your name on it and your group number. So they give you this book and they give it has like quotes in it. It has about all the teachers there. So I'm gonna flip through the book to tell you everything that I've learned. When I tell you, my coworker was crying. Like it was, I wanted to cry so bad it was because as a teacher, my dream has always been to go to the Ron Clark experience, well, the Ron Clark Academy experience. And it was more than I could ever want in a professional development. It has forever changed me. And this is only on one day. Um, the energy that you get from the people there, from down from the gym teacher who was out there directing traffic to Ron Clark himself. I'm going to insert pictures and everything at the end of this video so you can see. But the children were so engaged. It was amazing. So my takeaways, for, I'm going to ask my reading coach because she came with me. Oh, I made our shirts. Um, So our shirt says, I teach. And then, of course, it's the peach. And then on down my sleeve it says educator her says reading coach so if you see her that's not what she has on right now but you'll see pictures of her um once i get her permission she probably don't care but i'm going to say so first it started off with ron clark speaking right so ron clark came and then he spoke to the whole everybody was in the auditorium right so he spoke he told about his story and his journey about why he wanted to be um uh open his school and he told about his journey how he didn't even want to be a teacher his mama begged him things like that and then we got the co-founder 
of the Ron Clark Academy. Her name was Kim Bearden. She came on and she spoke just about the rules that we could take pictures, but we could not take video of the classes or the workshops, but we could take video footage of anything outside the classroom and we could take pictures of the kids and don't ask the kids personal questions, things like that. Um, so I got notes because they gave you the book. Um, so he talked about trying to increase to make yourself better. So the goal for this school year was that everyone had to increase 1%. And it was not to think about that because, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect as an educator, but the goal was to increase 1%. Um, um, he said that he builds relationships with his parents and that helps him as a teacher because, you know, he still teaches at the school even though he owns the school. Um, it says write down 10 things, simple things can make a big impact. Um, he said, oh, <laughs> it was something that he said that told like it was I guess somebody and he was saying that people pass away and we can't get them I'm gonna start crying people pass away and we sad and we moping around and he said they're not coming back so why don't we live for them and that's why you make the most out of every day. And I was like, shut the front door. That resonated with me so much because you know, I just lost my mom in October. And then for him to say that, like I'm always like, you've been following my vlog, you know, I'm sad and things like that. And that's what he said. Um, he teaches to the brightest kid in the room. So you find your smartest kid in the classroom and you teach to that kid. And then if, mind you, you still build stairs and bridges to get those other kids to the level that you're teaching, but you're going to see that those kids are going to rise to that occasion. Um, we took that from, I took that from there. Um, he talked about when you're teaching that you should have move your hands. I talk with my hands anyway. So I don't have that problem, but your hands should always be above your waist 60% of the time. You should move around the room. You should look at the kids um, in each corner, and that way you see all your kids. Um, he talked about teaching to the top, like I just said, and then he said when you pause and you stopped. What I did, like I can't go through, it's so much stuff to unpack, but I did learn that it, everything was uniform. So what happens is if we're doing, if you're learning vocabulary, you put gestures to go with that. Everybody does like chants. They motivate each other. The kids motivate each other. They, if you got something wrong, you explained your mistake or you got it wrong or you explained what you did wrong and another classmate jumps in to help you. The, even though everything was rigorous, Fifth graders was doing geometry and you don't do, I was like, shut up, but it was so good. It was, if you have not been so far, and only on day one, um, if you have not been, I highly suggest you could do Donuts Choose. They said starting in May, um, Sonic is going to sponsor 150 teachers to go. You have to check their website. It was, and they pay for the ticket and they pay for the flight, so. There you go. But it was so good. I have learned so much. I can't wait to take this. And I was like, oh, I'm going to wait till next year. No, we're going to start on Monday. Monday, we got a house system. And it is so cute. And I love how all the children were sitting in the rows, how my class used to be. And I went and put them back in groups. And remember I told you, I took them out of groups that were facing each other, like clusters. Now they talk too much. Guess who going back to facing forward? My kids. So I will see you on day two. With my, I'm asking my radio coach. I'm like, hey, you want to talk about what you learned? So that's what we're going to do. But I am so excited. I have left. This has been better than get your teacher on. This has been better than teach your heart out, even if you combine them together. Even if you combine them, nothing outdoes this thing. This. Y'all gonna be like who she is. I don't even care if I teach. 
pre-k we're gonna have a house system in pre-k i just love the unity the family dynamic of it i love it it was awesome so i will see you guys tomorrow for day two Okay, I am back finally with the closing of the Ron Clark Academy vlog. We want to talk about experts. I have my reading coach here. She don't want to be on camera. <laughs> so can you tell the people what is your experience of going to Ron Clark from a reading coach's perspective and what you took from it? Um, what I absolutely loved was his philosophy of teaching to the highest performing student in each class. And I love that because that's something that I've preached um, here at the school that I work with, which is just, you know, trying to reach proficiency and not lowering our standards um, or lowering the way that we teach um, because we have students who may not be on grade level. I think it's important to keep the standards high and then just create ways or scaffold our instruction to help them get there, but understanding that the goal doesn't move, just how we get them to the goal may uh, be changed. What would you recommend the Ron Clark Academy to other people? Absolutely. What I love also about Ron Clark Academy you feel the energy the minute you walk into the building. And I think that's important because when you really wanna create change, it's more than just changing what's happening inside of the classroom. It's more than just the instructional materials that you choose or um, how you choose to deliver a lesson. It starts with building um, the school culture. Um, it starts with how we dress, how we greet each other, how we teach our students to speak to each other, how we encourage our students to dress neatly and be positive and have positive attitudes. Because if everyone's on the same page, um, the energy in the building or whatever building you're in will change and that will also help to transform form whatever it is that you're trying to do in the classroom will you go back absolutely so we plan on next time she's gonna she gonna look good and be on camera <laughs> but we plan on going back to focus on content, content. yeah so i'm going to do what well, one of my uh, another co-worker she's going to do reading i'm sorry math she's going to do reading yes nothing i'm doing she's on reading i'm doing math and she's going to do science but we're going to go back we're going to get all our administration to go as well Yay. um we enjoyed it we recommend it we can't tell you all the tricks and secrets that they told us you need to go and experience it yourself um maybe i'll convince miss case to start a youtube channel uh -uh. but if you have any questions regarding reading this is your girl. I have Miss Kelly over there too. So if you have questions about math, she'll, she'll be on the vlog too. But thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do. Please. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and most of all, subscribe. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye, guys. Bye.